Jesus said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ, the same. That means what he did then, he's doing today. If he healed before, he's still healing. If he opened blind eyes, he's still opening blind eyes. If he made the lame to walk, it's not beyond his capability. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I speak by the Spirit of God. There is a fresh wind that's about to blow. There's a fresh wave that's about to come in. And the church shall rise up. It'll not be the masses, but it'll be a remnant. Those that don't have illusions of grandeur. Those that are not concerned about size, reputation, or finances. But there will come a remnant in the body of Christ that will be raising up and launching people out to the nations of the world. Not concerned about what ministry name is on it, but just concerned about whose name it's in. It's the name of Jesus. Good evening. We want to welcome you to Spirit Living. I am so excited to have my friend, Cindy Black. I am thrilled to be here as always. She was on with us a uh, uh, couple months ago, and she's back. And Yay. so we decided, <laughs> let's do another episode of Spirit Yay. Living. So um, I'm excited about tonight uh, in praying about direction to go. Mm -hmm. I got a very clear direction, and um, it actually comes from the verse in Ephesians 5 mm -hmm. where uh, Paul was teaching to the believers in Ephesus and he said to them he said be filled with mm -hmm. the spirit be filled with the spirit it, this wasn't just uh, if you feel like it or if you want or if you happen to think about it this was not a suggestion it was a command it was be filled with the spirit and and the funny thing about that that be filled with its present tense he didn't say get filled then you're good. Nope. He said, be filled. Right. It's a continuous state of being filled. It is. One of the things that Jesus told the disciples mm -hmm. who had received the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. Jesus walked through the wall, they received the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He said, go wait in Jerusalem because there's more yep. for you. And part of that is uh, being, being filled, filled is uh, speaking. Mm -hmm. speaking, speaking in tongues yep speaking in psalm sims and yep. spiritual songs he goes on and tells us speaking. how yes. Do yes. how do we be filled? well of course being filled right praying in the holy ghost yes that keeps us full it does but yes he went on and he said be filled mm -hmm. with the spirit yes. speaking they're speaking mm -hmm. in tongues yep. but it's not only speaking in yeah. tongues he says speaking to yourselves some translations say to one another but then uh the King James says, speaking to yourselves. So right. I think yes. speaking, whether mm -hmm. you're speaking to yourself yes. or whether you're speaking to one another, says speaking to yourself right. or speaking to one another in psalms, mm -hmm. hymns, yes. and spiritual songs. Right. Cindy, you, you, you master this. You mm -hmm. know how to step into that flow. And let me just say this. <coughs> psalms, psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs is not just for ministry gifts. No, it's not. He was telling the church the body. in That's Ephesus, right. the That's believers. Right. Yes. And it wasn't just for them. It's for us. If being filled is for us today, yes. which we know it is, being filled with the Holy Ghost is for us. It is. Then we need to be speaking yes, in do. tongues every day. Yes. But we also need to be speaking to ourselves yes. and to others yes. in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. But I'll just say this. Before you start speaking to others, you need to be speaking to yourself. You do. Because the Bible says when we're speaking in tongues, mm -hmm. we're building up, edifying, yep. charging up. And I love, there's a play on words right here in mm -hmm. the scripture where Paul said, be filled. Mm -hmm. Literally in mm -hmm. the Greek, it's be being, be being continuously continuously mm -hmm. yeah in other words yeah jesus said you're going to need this to yeah. live everyday life spirit living spirit living this there all you go. ties in yes. to spirit living it does so it's amazing to me that being filled always has a connotation of something coming out mm -hmm. out from mm -hmm. the inside yeah it's not out from your head nope it's not out from nope. outside in, yeah. a lot of times people are saying, oh, Lord, please fill mm -hmm. me when uh, the baptism of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit is on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. And the way we access mm -hmm. that that filling is mm -hmm. speaking. speaking, 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 speaking to ourselves yeah. in Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, speaking in tongues, speaking the word, speaking. So what is how, how would you describe Psalms, hymns and spiritual songs to someone that maybe doesn't know anything about this? There is a spirit of prophecy mm -hmm. 
that comes along with the gifts of the spirit. That spirit of prophecy is uh, fresh, hot off the wire. God saying something from the inside out. Totally unction from the Holy One. Unction. From unction. the Holy One. Holy Ghost unction. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and sometimes you have unction to sing a song that you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. That uh, could be a spiritual song or a mm -hmm. hymn, a hymn, mm -hmm. you know, a hymn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even worship songs that we know today, mm -hmm. you know, we would classify those as yeah. hymns. Yeah. Many of them are birthed by the spirit of prophecy, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, something the Lord brings up from your heart. Mm -hmm. But then there's new songs, yeah. new songs that the Holy yeah. Ghost would give. Uh, with that spirit of prophecy yeah. and every believer can access it yeah. some people are bent towards music yes. you know and yes. and and uh that and and sometimes there's more than just prophecy simple the simple gift of prophecy mm -hmm. in there you know ministry gifts are, are involved but this isn't something for the worship team yeah. this is something for the body yeah. to access every day every, every day driving day. to work mm -hmm. just begin speaking the psalmist David, mm -hmm. he's called the psalmist yes. David. The book of Psalms is a prime example of Psalms. Yes, and it has that spirit on it. Yes. It has yes. that uh, when you start reading songs and mm -hmm. uh, Psalms and start mm -hmm. even singing mm -hmm. Psalms, th there there is unction on yeah. those from the Holy yeah. Ghost. I'll never forget the first time I got a spiritual song. Mm -hmm. I was by myself mm -hmm. in my apartment. We uh, had... Every night, uh, Thursday night, I had gone with a friend of ours down to a uh, jail to minister. And um, so I would pray. I had to work up till a couple hours before, but then I'd go to my house and change clothes quick and pray. Mm -hmm. And I was in praying for the meeting. And, uh, you know, prisoners sometimes are really hard to <laughs> worship, you know, get to worship. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, they were required to be there, and they really didn't want to. Mm -hmm. So I was asking the Lord, Lord, how do I do this and, mm -hmm. and praying and praying in the spirit mm -hmm. about it because when we pray in the spirit we pray yeah. out we access the yes. perfect will yes. of god yes praying in other mm -hmm. tongues mm -hmm. you know the, the bible says this he who searches the hearts yeah. so i can pray out the will of god for you and me yeah, his perfect good. will yeah. because he searches the hearts and he mm -hmm. prays out mysteries not mysteries to him who are they mm -hmm. mysteries to they're mysteries mm -hmm. to us yeah. Yeah. you know so we pray that out i was praying that out and all of a sudden a song came out and it had a little cadence to it. Mm -hmm. And I'd never heard anybody do that. Mm -hmm. And I thought, is this right? Could <laughs> What yeah. is this, you know? Mm -hmm. But I began, I had felt like I should sing that. Mm -hmm. And I'm by myself and I thought, what could it hurt? I'm by myself, you know, to yeah. sing this yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, begin to sing it out. And it was what he did in the service that night. Wow. So, uh, wow. and it came back up in the service. Wow. And me and my little guitar, we played it in the yeah. service, you yeah. know? And uh, I don't know if it blessed anybody else, but it blessed me. I'll know? just so say this. When we step into that flow of psalms, hymns, mm -hmm. and spiritual songs, it ministers. It does. It, it builds up. Yeah. Edifies not only us, but it, the right. hearers. That's where that psalms, hymns, and spiritual yes. songs, even to one another. Yes. There's something about this this edification mm -hmm. that we need yeah and it's just it's hooking our spirit our mouth up yeah with our spirit yes and it just comes right yes. out yes it's and not hard did you notice the apostle paul said this too he said singing speaking to yourselves in psalms hymns and spiritual songs mm -hmm. singing yeah. there's your mouth yep. speaking singing yeah and it says making melody in your heart mm -hmm. this flows from your heart yep. and it's to the lord to the lord hello yes it just comes right yes. out it comes right out yes. um giving in the next verse says giving thanks Man. always for all things to god the father in the name of our lord jesus christ you know I love speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. One part of speaking in tongues, mm -hmm. one part of this, mm -hmm. where this same flow, mm -hmm. you know, is uh, the Bible says we give thanks well. Mm -hmm. When yeah. Paul said, the Apostle Paul yeah. said, you give thanks well. Yeah. You know, sometimes in English, mm -hmm. you can't utter mm -hmm. how your heart, you want to bless him and love him. Yeah. And you just begin to worship. I'll never forget when I was filled with the Holy Ghost. We were in a place where we could sing, uh, stop, mm -hmm. and pray, and not only pray in tongues, but I sang three songs. Wow. At the first time I was filled, began to wow. sing in the Spirit. Yeah, it just never came right up. That. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah. what was that? That was a little bit of time mm -hmm. to be in His presence and yeah. get to know that flow. Yeah. 
sometimes um, people yielding to this. When, when you're first yielding to the Holy Ghost and mm -hmm. beginning to speak in tongues, it's like a clutch. Mm -hmm. You know how, mm -hmm. uh, I, did you ever remember your first time's attempts driving a clutch? Oh, <laughs> oh, my daddy tried to teach me how to drive yes. his Volkswagen. Yes. Didn't go so well. <laughs> No, I <laughs> went up a hill and oh dear, started rolling back. Oh, and I thought, okay, I'm not gonna freak. <laughs> then I got in the middle of the intersection and didn't know what di the car died, and oh. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. So I said, I'm done. No, nope, yeah. that is not for We're me. We're changing places. We're right changing here. places here, Daddy. You can have this. <laughs> oh my goodness, I remember uh, I was doing the clutch and yep. the car was dying and it was yes. jerking <laughs> and sometimes people yielding yes. to the holy spirit it's yeah. like that when they first you're like yeah hey, how, how does this flow yeah 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 but you know i ended up driving a delivery truck my dad owned a company that i helped and mm -hmm. drove a delivery truck and i could drive a big truck with a big clutch didn't even think about it mm -hmm. the more familiar yeah, you get good. with the presence of That's god so good. the easier it is that it becomes yeah. natural you don't yeah. even think about it. So don't yeah. get worried mm -hmm. or don't get uh, beside yourself if if you're just beginning to be filled and, and letting that flow. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, how do I s mm -hmm. stop that and just get in the yeah. presence of God and, and it'll begin to become natural. Yes. And even singing yes. Psalm, Sims and spiritual songs. Yeah. It, it's not how, what pitch you're on or mm -hmm. uh, how, what it sounds like. It's flowing out mm -hmm. of your heart. Yeah to yeah. him the bible says make a joyful noise yeah, unto the lord <laughs> unto the lord so it doesn't Amen. matter and if you don't yes. want to sing it don't sing it just begin to speak it out i was driving down the highway coming into the church for just a few weeks ago and it just started bubbling up in me and i Amen. just began speaking oh yeah speaking psalms just yes. it just started flowing out yes. and i thought this is so good no one was in the car but i wasn't speaking to anyone at that point yes. i was speaking to god yes. and he was listening to me yes but it was just speaking psalms and psalms yes right to the lord right. and it was a way of uh it was a way of because the word was coming up yes i was speaking the word over over myself over right. my life yes. over my day yes and um it was a way of giving thanks. Yeah. So it's just another, it's just, you know, we're not, it, this, this thing called praise mm -hmm. and worship is not just, this is how you do it and you no. don't get outside the box. No. no, right here, Paul is teaching us, yes. here's another way, here's oh. another way. Psalms, hymns, yes. and spiritual songs. Don't just limit yourself to just one way no. of worship or yes. one way of praise or no. one way of edifying exactly yourself. Because right. when we pray in tongues, the Bible says we edify ourselves. Yes. What is edify? We build ourselves up. Yes. It's a charging on the charging. inside. Yes. That's one way, but it's not the only way. No. So these Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs and I'll just say this, <coughs> especially uh, your these spiritual songs. Uh, there are songs in heaven that I believe are in heaven reserved for this day mm -hmm. that we're living in. Mm -hmm. And those spiritual songs, they don't they originate in mm -hmm. heaven, but they're meant for earth. Every move of God, every has move songs of God from heaven yes. for that move of God. Absolutely. The healing revival yes. of the 50s. Yes. They sang, where they the sang a song, Only from. and Only Believe. Yes. I grew up singing oh. that song. Yes. In, in the 60s, and I grew up singing that song. And it was inspired by inspired. the Spirit of God. Yeah. You know, uh, Jesus told the woman at the well, she asked him a, a really pertinent mm -hmm. question when he uh, said, you know, I am he. I'm, I'm the Messiah standing mm -hmm. here. A and he had read her mail with a word of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And when she did, it got her attention. And she said to him, which is a thought amazing because uh, here, here's a woman just off the cuff, it would seem like she asked him such a significant question. So in other words, mm -hmm. the question that she asked, she had been thinking about. Mm -hmm. she, and she said to him, who's right? Yeah. The, they say in this mountain that we worship God, mm -hmm. the yeah. Jews say in Jerusalem. Yeah. And Jesus stopped her right there. She was actually said, they say this, they say this. And Jesus said, listen mm -hmm. to me. I'm mm -hmm. telling you the truth. Yeah. In other words, when Jesus said that, he just wasn't trying to get your attention or mm -hmm. throw out words. He said, believe me. Yeah. The hour has come, yeah. it's even here right now, when it's going to be neither at Jerusalem mm -hmm. nor in this mountain, mm -hmm. but in spirit and in truth. Yeah. 
And they had no concept. Adam, the fall of Adam, Adam had the Spirit of God with him. God was there, but but he when he died spiritually, life left him. Yeah. And so the Holy Ghost has been out here mm -hmm. in a box mm -hmm. behind a curtain. Yeah. You know, out here on a king, on a priest, on a on on the the uh, pro the pr uh, prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, and to get direction. He yeah. doesn't speak inside. He speaks over here. Yeah, and people know? had to go to yes. the prophet, pa uh, priest, or king for direction. They couldn't hear. They couldn't. But the Holy Ghost yes. wasn't on the inside and of them. And Jesus yet. said, "It's yeah. it's not going to be any longer. But you must, mm -hmm. must to worship Him now. Yeah. You must, yeah. even now." Yeah. He said, "So good. Must worship in spirit and in truth." Yeah. And then talking to the disciples, John. 13, uh, actually 12 through 17, mm -hmm. he is the upper room before he leaves. Last mm -hmm. minute instructions, last minute, uh, at least a third of the book of John is yeah. that. Yeah. You know, last minute things Jesus is saying. And he, he even said, he goes, I'm trying to tell you things that you're, that you're your, your little brain, you cannot even conceive. It's impossible what I'm saying to you. But he's, the Holy Spirit's not going to be with you. He's going to yeah. be in you yes. and lead and guide yes. from the inside yes. and even colossians 3 where the lord was talking again about psalms hymns mm -hmm. spiritual songs yep. he was talking about fruit talking about love mm -hmm. talking about peace amazing how he's talking about peace let the peace of god uh lead yeah. you dwell that dwells in you yeah. lead you and then he says speaking There's to that, yourself there is the connection again oh my goodness yeah yep. he paid for our peace. Mm -hmm. How do we access? Mm -hmm. we, we, speak. we speak. We speak. We speak. Oh, hallelujah. That just goes to prove how important the words of our mouth yeah. are. And that we just need to be careful. Right. That we're just not. Bleh, yes. You know, but yeah. that we choose our words and that our words minister grace. The Bible yeah. talks about make sure that your words minister grace to the hearers. Right. In other words, the ones you're talking around, right. make sure that you're ministering grace to them, not just spewing off no. and saying things off the top of your head. Yes. But our conversations need to be guided by the Holy oh, Ghost. We do. need to speak from yes. on the inside, making sure that we're saying what agreeing with God yes. on things that we're yes. saying and not what our mind might be thinking, right. not what our circumstances may look like, mm -hmm. but speaking, speaking what God has said. Yes. Speaking Speaking with agreeing with God, yes. agreeing with God. And we all know, number one, that's his word. And yeah. somebody said, well, that's not not spirit. No, mm -hmm. Jesus said, mm -hmm. my words are spirit yes. and they are life. Yeah. So when we grab a hold of this word of God and we put that in our mouth, yeah. when we access the Holy Spirit, who's yeah. no longer behind a curtain, now he's in yeah. us. Yeah. They couldn't even conceive yeah. them being in them. Yeah. Jesus said, it's to your advantage. I'm giving you an advantage in yeah. life. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. And he said, my word is truth. Yes. So yes. when he said worship in spirit and in truth. And in truth. You can worship by the help of the Holy Ghost. Yes. You know, Man. unction of the Holy Ghost. But then you, we need to worship with the word. Yeah. He said, put me in remembrance. Yes. Put me in remembrance. He yes. wants us to remind him, showing that we know what you said, but this is good for me to say it out of my yes. mouth and put ourselves in remembrance, but to put him in remembrance, yes. worshiping in spirit yes. and, and in truth. truth. One of the things that all through the Old Testament, which mm -hmm. is still valid, and Jesus mm -hmm. confirmed this, said it over and over again. He said, what you meditate on, meditate oh. on my words. Joshua, yeah. you know, the Lord said, put this book of the law in your mm -hmm. mouth mm -hmm. and don't let it depart from yeah. your mouth. You know, yeah. Psalms 1, what we meditate on, yes. his, his word, you know, guides us. We, mm -hmm. we don't stand or sit or, or you know, in, mm -hmm. in with uh, out, we have his word. Mm -hmm. We let yeah. the word be the guide. But a key to psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs is, is being full of the word. Yes. Being full yes. of that. And admonishing yeah. others. Yes. Ephesians chapter 5, he talks mm -hmm. about speaking to yourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, building yourself up. Yes. Speak to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual yeah. songs. In other words, you get that's worship in spirit. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes, worship in truth. Yes, But it then is. he talks about admonishing others. others. Yeah. Colossians 3, he says, yeah. uh, let the word of Christ the dwell. Word. The, the word. word. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let the word of Christ mm -hmm. dwell in you richly mm -hmm. in all wisdom. How do you get wisdom from the word? You meditate it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. think about it. Got to know what he it. said. You do. Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> and then it says teaching and admonishing one another in Psalms. Uh-huh. Isn't that uh, it's something that he said, let the word dwell in you, teaching mm -hmm. and admonishing one another in Psalms. In other words, it's the word that comes out yeah. in those Psalms. Yeah. The more uh, you have rhema, the uh, word that's rolling yeah. on the inside yeah. of you the more the holy ghost has to access yes. to minister to mm -hmm. people yeah you know in psalms hymns and spiritual songs yeah we were uh here a while back at the church i had the privilege and honor thank you for letting me come and, oh and anytime oh we are your home goodness. away from home and you know I, that yes ma'am you're <laughs> forever <laughs> and uh pastor mark turned over to mm -hmm. me and and you had gotten up and began to exhort and mm -hmm. there was such unction mm -hmm. on what you were doing strong the worship team had had opened the door and and you stepped in it uh, with that as well and and um Pastor Mark leaned over and he said, this service is going a different way already, I can tell. He said, if you've got something, go ahead and do it. And as you, when you got up and even as they were worshiping and singing, uh, Psalms 103 was rolling mm -hmm. on the inside of me. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed my Bible on the front row and I thought, I haven't read that in a while. I just opened it up right mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and began to read, Bless the Lord, mm -hmm. O my soul, and mm -hmm. all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not mm -hmm. his benefits. Yeah. Let them, you know, the, let them not depart from your, your eyes, but forget not mm -hmm. healing. Forget mm -hmm. not he's redeemed us from destruction. Mm -hmm. Forget not he forgives all mm -hmm. our sins. Yeah. And I, as I was reading that, all of a sudden, it got bigger and bigger on the inside. And he said, I think you've got something. And I said, okay, mm -hmm. you know, and he mm -hmm. said, go if you have it. Mm -hmm. And so I yeah. walked up, you yeah. know, and that yeah. set the whole course yeah. for what we ministered. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. coming out of what the Holy Ghost, his yeah. word, spirit and yeah. truth. Yeah. Don't you love that? I love it. Oh, I love, we're not limited. No. We're not limited by just the songs in a songbook. You know, I grew up, when I grew up in church, sure. we had songbooks. Yes. And page 35 was my favorite song. <laughs> it was Mansion on the Hilltop. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> so I, I can remember. Mention. Yes, that was my favorite <laughs> song. Whenever they'd say, turn to page 35, I'd like, yes. <laughs> but, you know, that's that was the extent of our right. uh worship service right. you know was in the songbook sure which was fine yeah and then i remember when in uh probably the 70s uh late 60s even but maybe 70s uh, there was a shift that started happening mm -hmm. and we started uh some churches started getting away from the songbooks right and remember they would put the words on this overhead projector right and we began singing more <laughs> scripture songs right. there were songs that people were getting yes. and it began to spread and it was yeah. like we were all of a sudden no, there were a lot of people that did not like it and i understood that but yet we had to get out of mm -hmm. that of that uh, you know what i've always been a firm believer in mixing the old with the new yeah yes because some of those songs that we sang in that songbook yes. i still love yes i still love janet the songs that were birthed yes in with two things mm -hmm. uh really to have be a god song yeah you have two you have two components mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily the melody line or mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, because uh, musically things change yeah and it's okay to change yes. musically it's yes. okay yes. to go uh, with a more contemporary mm -hmm. sound mm -hmm. you know some of the older songs have an older sound mm -hmm. but there's two components mm -hmm. that make it a god mm -hmm. song mm -hmm. and that's number one uh, that it's birthed yeah. by unction yeah you know oh. some unction coming from the Holy Ghost, yeah. uh, given by him, yeah. uh, and that song coming forth. Yeah. But then two scriptural. Scriptural, you know, scriptural. That's, yes. a, that's an interesting thought, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we're singing yes. scriptural songs. And sometimes you yeah. can tell how much light yeah. people were walking yes. in oh, with yes. the songs that they were writing. Mm -hmm. And we just grab a hold of light, yeah. and then the rest we go, ah, change yeah. that part you yeah. know uh but some songs okay break every writing rule there mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. uh, we exalt thee mm -hmm. we exalt thee breaks every mm -hmm. writing mm -hmm. rule there is mm -hmm. but we exalt thee was birthed by the spirit yeah. of god in yeah. a service and it has sustained yeah. obviously god still when somebody yes. starts singing yes. that song he comes he comes because yeah. it was birthed by him yeah some of those uh, songs um 
Why should I feel discouraged? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, his eye is on the sparrow. Yeah. I'm telling you, that song. Yes, it's timeless. And there's light. There is when anointing on it. When you start singing it, it yes. you get light. Yes. You know, songs where you have to search and search yeah. for the light, maybe just let them no. go by the And they're side. easily recognizable. Yeah. Like, wow, that song has something on it. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. my all-time favorite always was growing up, always is, and always will be, is Tis So Sweet. Oh. To trust in Jesus, yes. just to take, take him, him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. Oh, there it is. There's Worshiping with the word. Yes. Thus, you got to know what the word Ooh. says if you're going to worship him with Man. the word. But that song mm. ushers in his presence. And then Jesus, Jesus. Oh. oh. Yes, there's Where something about that name. Yes. Oh. oh, you know, we've had to search for songs in modern times about the name of Jesus. We have. And I so believe sometimes there's just songs are, are, you know, are people have good hearts and sometimes people, their motive is wrong. They want to make money and they're just sitting writing songs. But I mm -hmm. if you're full of the word sitting yeah. writing songs, it's different than yeah. you're just writing about how I feel. Yeah. And I wish God would show up. Yes. You know, yes. rather yes. rather than that or, you know. Uh, but there's songs uh, that come directly from the throne room. Yes. There's oh. a difference. There's Not a the difference. boardroom, no. but the throne yeah. room. And, and that's the kind of, that's what we have to stay true yeah. to. Yeah. You know, uh, we have here, we've, I've never been one that went with the latest and greatest mm -hmm. songs. Yeah. It's like, I don't care what the rest of the yeah. world's singing. That doesn't mean right. we're going to sing it. No. If it's not scriptural, yeah. we're not singing it. If it's a story about experiences, yes. I'm not singing it. Yeah. I am, I'm very picky yeah. about yes. the, the songs that we and do as a, as a body here. You should be. Very because picky. Because you're the buck stops right there. Yep. And you want people. I am held accountable. Yes. And God told God mm -hmm. the big God, the big G, the <laughs> God, that yes, guy. Yes. He told Moses, mm -hmm. he said, put this in their mouth. Mm -hmm. People a lot of times don't think, well, it's okay if I sing a whiskey river, take my mind. You know, mm -hmm. really? You're, mm -hmm. you're putting those words in your mouth. People don't realize with songs. Uh, I like an uh, old song, uh, Sweet home Alabama, you know mm -hmm. that song. Yeah. And I like to listen to the background vocals. I'm, I'm listening to the lick. I'm listening. One day, I so it came on somewhere where I was in an elevator or something, and I'm listening to it, and I grabbed my phone, and I pulled it up, and I was listening to the, because of the guitar, and, the, and I was like, ooh. And the Lord goes, okay, that's enough. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. And he said, you don't want that in your mouth. Mm -hmm. He said, you want in your mouth. It's okay to learn things from mm -hmm. secular things, mm -hmm. and here's the stuff. But you want in your mouth. Oh, my goodness. If you're mm -hmm. singing, uh, you know, songs where you get weird secular lyrics, and we're talking secular, but wait a minute. Mm -hmm. There is stuff that's really not good unscriptural that has Christian written all oh over yeah. it, and you get that in your mouth? Yeah. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, if you don't show up, how yeah. are we going to make it in life? <laughs> well, y okay, yeah. yeah, that's true. But how about let's let's say this. You said you'd never yes. leave me or forsake yes. me. Yes. You said mm -hmm. you'd guide me in every situation. Yeah. Oh, but I don't feel that way. Well, get Mr. Feelings We don't sing you, according right? to our feelings. No. We sing yeah. according to the word. Yes. What does God say about our situation? Yes. Yes, we have to make Pastor sure that Janet. we're making that yes. switch, that we're worshiping him with in spirit. Yeah, because we're filled. Yes, and we can. Yes, and in truth, in truth. So some songs yeah. I would change a line or two mm -hmm. and some songs I would do the chorus mm -hmm. only because the first. Yes. And yes. But uh, don't you know, I always tell people don't throw out new just because it's new. Mm -hmm. Don't throw out old just mm -hmm. because it's old. Mm -hmm. What has 
unction on an it. Unction, yes. We were in a, uh, years ago, we followed you around and you led us in, <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> you helped us. Oh my goodness. We were, we were, we were so blessed to let you, mm. you guys teach us mm. how to go. And, and you, you always said l with great kindness, uh, we're Paul and you're Apollos. You know, we went with you on one mission trip and you said from now on you're Apollos <laughs> and you go by yourself. You know, we had some fun stories, <laughs> yes, didn't we? Yes, we have stories oh, from that trip. my goodness. Mm. But I'll never forget one of the places that we ended up, uh, Bruce and I ministering, was uh, Germany. We went out of there a lot, mm -hmm. but we were in a place in eastern Germany where you didn't understand the language, and I was sitting kind of in the back and worshiping, and the Spirit of God was there. Didn't matter if they were singing in German or, or English, or and all of a sudden they hit on this song, and I turned to my interpreter and I said, What? does that song say? Because yeah. when they hit you on that knew. song, it surged, yep. God surged yep. in the room. Yep. And that song was, you deserve the glory wow. and the honor. You know, wow. we lift our hands and yeah. worship. And I begin to weep, not knowing the words, mm -hmm. just at the presence mm -hmm. of God. Yeah. You know, so you can, somebody goes, well, I don't know if that's God or not. Friend, we know yeah. the unction. Yeah. of the spirit you yeah. have him yes. jesus said yes. you're his sheep yes a voice of another you will not follow man follow the unction yeah. and if we as worship teams wow can do that even yeah. uh i i've done this and i've seen other people do this where you get uh, a song that's going and you uh uh start it and you move on to another song mm -hmm. and yeah uh, it, it, the unction lightens up. Yes, and it, lifts. Think, yes it, it lifts. Yes, it lifts. And you think, well, uh, yeah. but but our list. Well, uh, Throw the list out the yeah. window. <laughs> there was one uh, meeting we did with uh, down in Peru. And uh, the, again, singing a song you mm -hmm. don't understand, but the unction mm -hmm. was on it. They would go to another thing. And uh -huh. the, the director of the meeting turned and said, uh, hey, go back yeah. to that other yeah. song. Yeah. And for three or four hours, the song was about his majesty wow. and the healer. Wow. And for three or four hours, every time they got off, he said, go back. And yeah. finally, they quit leaving it, realizing <laughs> that's what he was on. Yeah. You yeah. know, and at the end, he said, did you notice every yeah. time you got off that song, yeah. he lifted. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he liked what was going on right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So, um, you yeah. know, if we can learn that. That is that's not for Peru. That's for Broken Arrow, for Tulsa, yes, for Oklahoma, for the United a States. Valuable yes. lesson. Yeah. So, well, anyway. Cindy Black, thank you for letting me come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I hope that you have been as blessed as the two of us have been. Yes. If nobody else is blessed, we are. We're <laughs> blessed. <laughs> but you know, I I pray that some things that we shared today yeah. will, will encourage you. Yes. Encourage you. Go ahead. Step out with psalms, hymns, and yes. some spiritual songs. Mm -hmm. Do it when nobody's yes. around. Do yes. it in your house when you're alone. Yes. Do it in your car. Yes. Just, no one has to be speaking to no. yourselves yes. in psalms, hymns, and spiritual yes. songs. And like, she and it doesn't have to rhyme. No, no, it doesn't, no, no. Just, just sing. Yes. Sing out of your yes, heart. Yes, absolutely. Hallelujah. Yes. Don't, don't get so heady. Yeah. Again, it doesn't come from your head. Right. It comes from your mouth hooking up with the Holy yes. Ghost on the inside. Yes. Spirit living. That's what we're talking mm. about. Praise so God. Um, before we go, we're going to give you an opportunity. This is uh, Wednesday, and I want to give you an opportunity to sow. I know some of you wait until Wednesday, so online giving if you're watching or wherever you're watching from we're so glad you are watching uh, you might want to drop a note let us know where you're watching from I know that even after midweek start ends uh, you know the Wednesday night is over people are still watching for weeks and weeks and weeks so um, I believe this one this will be one that will will it's kind of like keep on giving and giving <laughs> and giving. So, uh, you know, just ministering yes. to people, the things that have we've said, that's, that is our heart. Yeah. So the ways to give are on, uh, and we thank you for that as well. Yes. But I will say this, I just remind you that coming up in two weeks is April 21 through 24 Yay. is Presence 24. Ooh. We are excited. Wow. Presence 24, Sunday through Wednesday. And um, if you can come, come, be with us. Mm. If you can't, we will, the services, the night days nights evenings especially will be online but we're you say well what is it going to be we're just going to get in the presence of god and see man 
It might be a Holy Ghost service. It might be a healing service. Can I encourage everybody? Uh, if you can come, be in the room. Yeah, there's something about being in the house. Yeah, it, when you can't come, it's, o- it's, it's it okay. Is. Yes. But there's, yeah. wow, there's something yeah, about it is a even uh, God yeah. looks at that like you're coming, giving him. Yeah. You know, so yeah. uh, one one lady one time said she goes, I listen to church every Sunday on. And I said, well, that's good. I said, do you do you eat eggs and make coffee while you do it? She said, oh, yeah. And I said, and <laughs> and discipline the kids. And and yeah. And I when we did it at home, mm-hmm. I would make everybody stand up when they stood up. Mm-hmm. We sat down when mm-hmm. they sat down. Mm-hmm. We w- stood and worshiped. Mm-hmm. You know, we got our our money. Yeah. We you know, and uh, and that's hard to do when you have you could kick up your feet and throw, put, yeah. eat, drink hot chocolate. Yeah. You know, yeah. so there's yeah. something about being in his presence. It's true. If you can anyway. come be with us, yeah. come. You'll be glad you did. So let me pray over you really quick. Father, I thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice. Everyone yes. listening now or thank next you, week Father. or whenever. Father, I pray that you'll take the words yes. that Cindy and I yes, shared Father. this morning, that you'll take this evening, that you'll take those words and that you will just uh, make them clear. Yeah. Take what we have said and minister that to the hearers. May there be clear, clear understanding of what it means. Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. And giving thanks well. We thank you for that our our worship is expanding. Our our spirit on the inside is is strengthening. Strengthening more. And we are speaking out. Speaking out by the spirit. Your plans, your purposes, and giving thanks to you for yes. who you are. Thank you, Lord. We Jesus. love you. We thank you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. And I speak a blessing over my sweet friend. Thank you. Everywhere she goes, Father God, I thank you. She's a blessing. Thank you. A Jesus. blessing, a blessing, a blessing. Thank you, Blessings Father. overtaking her. I Amen. thank you for it, thank Father. You, Father. She's strengthened with might, yes. your might in her inner in man. Inner and I thank you for making her a blessing. Thank in you. Jesus' name. Amen. (laughs) Thank you, Cindy. I love you. (laughs) Till the next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.